There's the dragon eye. Let me get a close up of this paint job. If it would focus. Focus. Let's see, this guy's got the same. Quite a bit of speckles in them. Things out on trouble focusing. <laughs> Guys got some speckles too. But there they are. Two by four fish. Giant lure coming next. I'm gonna have my own tailgate party today. We're gonna make some of these. Let's see how it's done. One looks like clearly looks like a mullet. All right, let's make this happen. Kitten wrestling. Oh, the tag team. They just left you. They just left you. I have. I know a way to get a helicopter, guys. They're all in full play mode. Wait, can we use my car as a getaway vehicle? I also have rally cars when we use I've been a carpenter my entire adult life and we've always thrown away wood like this right into the dumpster and it always bugged me that there's got to be something I can do with it and I've built a lot of things over the years little stuff you know to make me happy like I built this car out of an old 2x4 and some uh, barbecue skewers and the wheels, they came in a little bag filled with little wooden knob type things. This is an actual 60s Pinewood Derby from the Boy Scouts. But yeah, so I'm trying not to let these 2x4s go to waste. I'm always making cool stuff. This is all made out of leftover lumber, leftover flashing. So, there's a little destroyer I made for my nephew. He had tons of fun with it, played with it in the tub, in the pool. It's just two by four, scrap wood. Again, these are barbecue skewers. It had a mast on it. He broke everything off of it, all the barrels. But that's like a two minute build. So this wood is free. Go to any construction site, any new home being built. They're gonna throw this stuff in a dumpster. If there's someone there, just ask them if you can have a few scraps. And I'll be glad to give it to you. Most carpenters are like me. They hate to see this stuff go to waste too, but what are you going to do with it? So, today we're going to do something with it. Pencil. Avoid the knots. And we're just going to draw, draw a fish. Sketch it a few times till I start getting a shape that I sort of like. And we have a fish shape. jigsaw very affordable see that burnt blade that happens from turning so you gotta really turn slow this new blade only used once but yeah you want to avoid overheating your blade changes the temper makes them wear out faster
his own tail. Dang it. Well, we broke his tail, so I'm just going to use this piece. Leave this on for a handle so I can carve all this next. Just carving up to my two pencil lines. It's much harder to cut through the grain this way than it is down the lengths. I've tried making small lures and it's really hard to carve and I ended up using my thumb and this way kind of like peeling a potato but that's just you don't want to be cutting on a small piece of wood towards your fingers but with a big piece of wood I can hold it from the back and I can carve outward just to make better progress After a few minutes of sanding, I got a fish shape. Good enough for me. Went to my secret stash, got a wooden dowel. Right size drill bit, 7.30 seconds. So I'm gonna try to drill some holes in here without breaking this thing. See what we can do. This thing breaks, it's gonna hurt. Not a very sharp drill bit drill through steel with this thing. It's just wood glue. I buy it by the gallon. Because of that tight bond. Make sure you get it all in around everywhere you want it, everywhere you need it. Let's 
sometimes this works. Not today, though. Put a cut all the way around. They snap real nice for you. I'm going to trim these to fit. Or drill the holes in the body extra long so there's no worries. the bottom this is the belly put the small fin down some sort of guidance Give that a little while to dry. And I'm going to shape that right back in. Been about an hour. Tail's glued on. I use my little flapper disc. Imagine a fish here. I have no point. I have glue on it. Great. We want some big eyes. Some big gills. We're gonna make his mouth up high. Give him some jaw bones.
try to make this all about the same. Looking pretty good. I've got some really dull drill bits. Just a scrap of cedar.
easy. Alright, here's how I do my paint job. These are just cheap Walmart paints. A couple brushes. And I like to use this Mod Podge as my thinner. And also, it makes the paint op opaque. It's transparent. So, let's have that. Okay, I like to start with the base flesh tone. We're going to need plenty of this. And we won't need any uh, of the Mod Podge just yet. You want to put in some red, give it a little nice fleshy color. A little bit of yellow. And we just mix all this up. You don't have to go crazy mixing it. We're going to mix it right on our subject. And I turned my stand over. This is going to be my finished side, but I didn't want to get paint on it. So, here goes our base coat. This is going to seal the wood. Once this totally dries, then you can uh, sand it real good and get all the fuzzies off. Then your next coat of paint is going to be even nicer. Always when you're working with wood, that first coat of paint brings up the fuzzies in the wood. The paint allows them to be much stiffer, so when you sand, you cut the surface nice and smooth. So, all right. just water before it's completely dry help it all blend together
that dry. I think it just needs to be a bit doable starting with a good machine but let's burn on some color you know that's not an insignificant number of hours that have to be put into this but it makes all the difference between you know garage ornament and uh, plated drivable that was a lot more than i wanted and uh, that's what this is about like you know i love it sitting here but i'll love it even more if i can go to the store you know i mean the budget can't be zero the tires will have to all be replaced um, I've been driving around with the transmission brake, but uh, for proper operation, you need to have the brakes working. Uh, I've never even looked at them. I'm going to have to assume they'll need everything. Uh, it's going to need mechanical work on the chassis, uh, bushings, uh, spring eye bushings, and all that type of stuff is hammered out of it. Uh, once the fellows get here today, we're going to kind of do a walk around safety meeting kind of thing that usually involves pizza and beer, and then we're going to start a uh, light disassembly process and we'll see how far we get. Um, I'm uh, pretty excited. Uh, I've got Justin and Ashley and Dan and Paul and Kyle on my team and uh, that's a good team. These guys, you know, these guys on the other teams, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to hustle. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing the team come together as much as I am. I'll probably hardly drive anything else once this is done. So anyhow, that's uh, that's Team T, you guys. Uh, now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, Team Dean. Exciting day. Scott and I are going to go check. Uh, I just want to take a picture of it before it comes out of its garage, Robert. Yeah. It's been in here so long. We should at least have this as part of the car's history because, I mean, really, Dean is only going to be the second registered owner of this car. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Okay. The moment is my favorite piece of kit. And this one. Oh, man, this one's going to be just great. I love that it's a four-door sedan. I love that it's a base Ranger. Okay. That's all. All right. Now we're going to start. Get these from a dollar store. Glitter. This one's pearl. I'm choosing this big purple flake. I like this one. And think about adding some silver. Get some silver. Big flake. Here's the pearl. Get plenty of that. About out of my watch. Get this bottom done real good so I can put it on a stand. I won't have 
to hold it. Terrible. All right, eyeballs. These are just those little glass beads. Get a bag of them for a dollar at the dollar store. Let's make some eyeballs. This is just a paint marker. They told us the local television station noted that violence in the area had risen since the pandemic began. They must be connected. Pryor's football coach agreed with this. It was COVID that really killed this kid, he told reporters. The coach didn't explain how exactly COVID had done this killing or what COVID's motive might have been, but no one asked. Everyone, particularly people in power, seemed happy to blame COVID. The pandemic did it. You heard that a lot, and not just in California. Across the country... Little white paint. Finish it up.
And his hand will start right about here. Okay, and I'm going to split these into finger. All right, my friends, I am popping in with an edit because I realized when I was editing just now that I should have been more clear with the hands, but because I was just winging my way along and I wasn't even sure if it was going to work, I just kind of just kept going and I didn't stop to explain. So I made the arm, as you saw, and then the hand, I'm going to do it real quick here. So this is going to get lots added to it later. So it's just, I just wanted the basic shape to start with, so I, knew I could map out where everything was going to sit. So this was my basic arm, a little bit more straight. And if I needed to, I would just tape that in place so it would stay there. And then I would do the next finger, and the next finger, and the next finger, and then the thumb. And then pretty soon, I've bulked it up enough where I have fingers like this. And it's easier for attaching if you have the bottom wide open like a fan like that. Alright, there's our finished product. Two by fours. There's the dragon eye. Close up with this paint job. If it would focus, focus. Let's see, this guy's got the same, quite a bit of speckles in them. This thing's out on trouble focusing. <laughs> Guys, got some speckles too. But there they are. Two by four fish. Giant lure coming next.